On a beautiful afternoon, I took a Flintstones model digital camera with me to shoot this footage at the Easter Parade on Monument Avenue. Since I'm a member of the Citizens Referendum Group, I also took petitions with me so I could gather more signatures. My aim is to stop the building of a baseball stadium in Shaco Bottom. Since the huge success of the Oscar-winning film 12 Years a Slave, Richmond's pre-Civil War slave jail history has suddenly become more interesting to a lot of people here and elsewhere. No doubt there are folks working at City Hall who wish that movie's release could have been delayed a year or two. Having grown up in Richmond, I'd like to know more about the slave market business that once thrived here. Likewise, I'd also like to learn about how that aspect of local history was rather effectively covered up for so long. Let's shine a fresh light on just how Virginia's history books were cooked back in the day. We need to take a hard look at how the truth about slavery and the Civil War was systematically processed into lies of denial to be taught in our public schools. Today, saying that building the stadium in Shaco Bottom will really facilitate a scholarly investigation of the neighborhood's history and archaeology is just more denial talk. Reality matters. What about those who say too many of the baseball fans who go to the diamond probably won't go to the bottom. What about those who say with schoolhouse roofs caving in, we shouldn't commit another nickel of public funds to spectator sports? Well, I think it's ridiculous because it's, it's perfect where it's at. It's too tight downtown. I mean, you can see it on the interstate coming in. It's just perfectly located. We don't need to spend more money doing something or appease other people to enjoy the baseball we already have here. We just need to put back in what we've already got established. And I think it's, it's ridiculous. The, uh, the area is too important, too historically significant. And the bottom in that area right off the of broad and support the traffic. Um, most importantly, if you take a look at the area around it, it is it's old. And what they're building down there is something that maybe has a 20 or 30 year lifespan in, in the heart of where this country is born. Give me liberty or give me death, right, right up, up the street, you block the head. And uh, it's, it's not the place for it. Keep it at the boulevard, it works. During the last 10 years of warmed over indecision about a baseball stadium, 27 different representatives have served on city council. Over that time, council has heard from a parade of experts, boosters, and activists. This is the second time this has happened. I will get with Sam. We'll make our people aware of it. Why don't you bring him here? Where's your lawyer? Let's go. 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 Let's